Come on, it's prayer time. Let's pray together and talk to God. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Welcome friends, it's time for prayer. Lift up your hands and close your eyes and pray. Uh, our prayer, first prayer point is uh, praying for the leadership of our nation, India. Psalms chapter 102 and verse 13. Thou shalt arise and have mercy upon Zion for the time to favor her. Yeah, the said time is come. Pray specially for our nation, India. Declare that this is the day of God's mercy and favor for our nation and His blessings and goodness is being manifested all over our nation and upon the people. Declare that only the right leadership is brought into office. A leadership based on God's mercy and grace. Pray that our leaders are aligned with the will of the Father at this time for the course of the gospel. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Pray. La Barama. Lift up your hands and close your eyes and pray. Libro do masanga di zahala da da ba shanda lei singo do shala da la ba leza la ba 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 zienda le ba 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 shanta ti sa ta ti ra ba ba ta 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 ra ta 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 le de ne ne mo kuchu ra ba 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 di na na ga di shala da o ra ba la ba la ba shanda la ba singo to la bo la ma ma na ma sha ka ti zahan da la ba ra ba le bro do la ba ba le da la ba ra ba le 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 Oh Baba, Ninzanga di Zaha, Libro do Shahanda Singa da Shahala, Libro do Labra de 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 Le Mananga di Ananda di Alananda Lenda 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 Balaganda la galabanda galagadanda la galabanda la galadanda la galabanda la galadanda Lijo manama Lijo malama shihi Landa zala de le rebele be rebele be rebe shanka tisa Lobra anda ashe ibro usha anga tisa anda Libro doza anda rita lamba nanga de rabo rabala hazi ye zaga de go jabada bara bara dale de Lampa di da la barabanche janka di da la 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 Lobra Allah, Lobra Allah, Lobra Allah, Lobra Allah, Nena Mondobo, Nena Mondobo, Nema Nana Nama Shakati, Loba di Sala, di Sala, di Shala, di Shala, Halle, Le Manama Nama Libro Bolo Brida, La Baraba, La Dari, the Lady, 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 the Ola hasha hande de la manesha akati sahara da la na nienda le re de le nanda le na nienda le de le de le de he 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 mama ni na la ha 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 le ba asha hande di go doja ala hande izarbo linda di zala da di zahanda le de bo li da la da de isha la da ha la da li zala da ha la da di zala da la da shanda le isha hala da li bro doja akati Tisa ata si, ata si, ata si ka nama shokoto Libra ana ni shokoto ra jay shakata Libra ana ma shakati shakati sakata sakata Ura bala 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 di sahanda laba Lubra di sahakati shokoto rabo Limbro do shanda laba Thank you Lord, thank you Lord Perfect leadership is coming in our India nation Perfect leadership is handling, handling our Indian nation. Thank you, Lord. The leadership is in favor of your mercy and grace. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Goodbye, friends. God bless you. Hello, friends. It's time for praise and worship. Let's praise our mighty God.
It's time for Rhapsody of Realities for Kids. We are going to learn so many amazing things. Hello kids, it's Sunday. And it's time for our daily devotional reading with Mark. Yes, the Rhapsody of Realities. Hi, my name is Mark. Today is Sunday, November 26. The topic of our devotional is Preach It! Our Bible text is from 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 18. All these new things are from God, who brought us back to Himself, through what Christ Jesus did. And God has given us, the privilege of urging everyone, to come into His favor, and be reconciled to Him. The Gospel of Christ is the good news of God's love, for the whole world. It's the only message, that is able to save, heal, and deliver anyone, from any situation. That's why you've got to preach it. The moment you were born again, you became God's representative, to preach the gospel. Therefore, be bold to declare it, everywhere you go, in school, at home, at the mall, or even the playground. So, preach God's message. Do it willingly, even if it isn't the popular thing to do. Let's pray! I'm inspired and excited! To preach the good news of God's love! To everyone I meet, in Jesus' name, Amen! Please read, the scripture reading, for today. 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 20. Thanks for listening, I love you all! Wow, wow, wow! Glory to God! Thank you, Mark! I love you! Bye-bye! See you again tomorrow! Praise the Lord! Hallelujah! How are you all? Say, I am blessed! I am excellent! And wherever you are with your friends, parents, whoever is around you, just give them a high five and with a big smile say you're welcome. I'm so happy to see you. Glory, hallelujah. I'm sure you all had a great time till now. We had prayer, we had worship time. Praise the Lord. And this is the time where we listen to the word of God. Hallelujah. And today's title is Your Revelation of the gospel praise the lord god sent lord jesus to reveal himself hallelujah to unveil the character and the personality of the godhead hallelujah god sent jesus so that we could know who god is who the holy spirit who the who lord jesus is hallelujah in john chapter 14 verse 9 it says in response to philip who asked Lord Jesus, show us the Father. Jesus said, He that hath seen me hath seen the Father. And how sayest thou then, show us the Father? You know, Philip said, show us the Father. And Jesus in reply said, If you have seen me, you have seen the Father. In John 10 chapter 30, he said, I and my Father are one. Lord Jesus was talking about Himself. He said, I, that means Lord Jesus and the Father are one. Lord Jesus Christ was the revelation of the Father. He came as the expression of the will and nature of the Father. In Hebrews chapter 1 verse 3, describes him beautifully as the express image of the Father. He came to express, show, unveil, manifest, articulate and demonstrate the will and nature of God. As I said, God sent Lord Jesus so that we can know the nature and will of God. No one has seen the Father. But Lord Jesus said, if you have seen me, you have seen the Father. That means seeing Jesus 
is seeing the Father. Knowing Jesus is knowing the Father. There is something, you know, understanding of the gospel, revelation of the gospel. We cannot just say, oh, I preach the gospel. The question is, what gospel do you preach? What the gospel is? What is your understanding of the gospel? When you say gospel, what does it mean to you? What understanding do you have? In Romans chapter 1 verse 16, the apostle Paul said, For I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ, for it is the power of God unto salvation to everyone that believeth, to the Jews first and also to the Greek. Praise the Lord. This is the understanding Paul had about the gospel. He said, I am not ashamed of the gospel of Lord Jesus Christ, for I know it is God's only power to save mankind for salvation. Hallelujah. He knew the importance of the gospel. It is the only power of God to save man, human from destruction. Hallelujah. To bring salvation unto everyone who believeth. This is Paul's understanding. What is our understanding of the gospel? Do we think the same way that I am not ashamed of the gospel? For this is the only power of God to save men. Hallelujah. Your personal understanding of the gospel is very important because your life will be the reflection of the gospel, of the understanding you have of the gospel. You have a gospel, I have a gospel and everyone has a gospel. Hallelujah. Your gospel is your idea of Christ. Who is Christ? Why did he come? Hallelujah. What he came to achieve? What did he come to do? Because this will form your message. How, how you will tell others about Lord Jesus, about God. Your life will reflect the message. Everything you do will be the expression of your understanding of the message, of the gospel. The way you behave, the way you think, the words, the kind of words you used to communicate, the way you treat others, your nature, how you work, praise everything that you do will reflect this message. Hallelujah. Everything concerning you. Hallelujah. As a Christian, you are living your understanding of Christianity. Hallelujah. You are expressing your understanding of Christianity every day. As I said, everything that you do will show the understanding that you have of the gospel of the message. It will be reflected consciously or unconsciously in everything that you do. Every day of your life will be the reflection of the understanding of the message you have of the gospel. Anyone cannot live above the understanding that he have about of the gospel. Everything you will see, it will be through the gospel screen. Hallelujah. As it were, you know, whatever you believe about Lord Jesus will affect your life, the way you live, the way uh, you talk, think, do anything. The way you behave, your manners, everything, everything will be affected and it will depend on what, what is the gospel, what is the message, what is your understanding about Lord Jesus. And that is why it is so important that you have the highest revelation that, could, that God could ever give you. You need to understand the gospel. It should be personal to you. And as you read the word, meditate, on the word, take out time to pray, have fellowship with the Holy Spirit. The way Paul had an understanding, each one of us can have. Hallelujah. Because your life will be the revelation of Lord Jesus. What you understand, what you think, praise the Lord. Everything with you will depend on your understanding of the gospel. Hallelujah. If you truly believe and understand the gospel, you will preach the gospel. Hallelujah. 
Every day you will be excited. Every day you will be looking out for opportunity to do, take the gospel, to share the good news with everyone around you. You will be excited. You will be fervent. You will be consciously taking the message to each one around you. You will understand the urgency that this is the end time and I have to move fast. But this all will depend on your understanding of the gospel. Hallelujah. And if you truly understand, truly believe, you will not be quiet. You will always be excited. Hallelujah. You will be consciously thinking of how and what can you do to take the gospel. Praise the Lord. Your prayer life will change. Everything concerning you will automatically come in line with God's will. Hallelujah. You will not miss any chance, you know, to take the gospel. Hallelujah. To everyone around in your school, in your tuition classes, maybe in your society, to your relatives. Hallelujah. You will always be on fire. Let your conviction of Christ drive you. Praise the Lord. And as I said, it is easy to understand the gospel as you read the Bible, as you meditate on the word of God, as you take out time to have fellowship with the Holy Ghost. You pray, you are attending the church services regularly. Hallelujah. It will all help you to understand the gospel. Hallelujah. Gospel is personal. Hallelujah. And when you get a hold of it, as I said, you will not keep quiet. You will, be all, you will always be on fire, always excited, consciously and unconsciously thinking how I can take the gospel to everyone around me. Hallelujah. As one person, what I can do, what impact can I make? Hallelujah. Be excited. Hallelujah. Be excited to take the gospel. There are so many who still don't know who God is and how great God's love is towards each one of us. And now when we have known, it's our responsibility to let everyone know about God's love, about Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. So don't keep quiet. Go every day and every opportunity you get, share the gospel. Tell them God loves you. Hallelujah. Anyone who is in Christ is a new creation. All things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new. Hallelujah. Anyone who believes in Christ shall not perish but shall have eternal life. Hallelujah. God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever shall believe in him shall have eternal life and shall not perish. Praise the Lord. That is God's will. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Do share the program link with your friends. Do watch the program again with your friends and whatever has been taught, do tell everyone about it. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And we'll see you next Sunday. Till then, bye-bye and God bless you. Wow! We learned so many beautiful things today. And now it's time for Confession. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Welcome friends. It's time for Confession. Lift up your hands and close your eyes and say after me. Thank you Father for your word. As I give it first place. It makes me excel in all I do. In Jesus name. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Bye bye friends, God bless you. Praise the Lord, hallelujah. If you're watching a program for the first time and you have not received Jesus as your Lord and Savior, your friend, so here is the opportunity. You can say this prayer with me and can receive Lord Jesus as your friend, your Lord, hallelujah. So wherever you are, you can rise up on your feet, lift up your hand towards heaven, close your eyes, and believe in your heart and say this prayer with me. Hallelujah. Dear Father, I believe in Jesus Christ, Son of the living God. I believe what Jesus died 
to save my soul and God raised him from the dead. He is alive today. I receive Jesus as my Lord and Savior. Thank you, Father, for I am saved. I am born again. In him and through his name, I have eternal life. And from this day, I am a child of God. In Jesus' name, Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. If you have said this prayer with us, congratulations and welcome to God's mighty family. Hallelujah. So if you have prayed with us, now I'll pray for you. Thank you, Father. I pray for each and every one who have received Jesus as their Lord and Savior. Thank you, Lord. I bless them with your word, with your grace, with your spirit. Satan has no power over their life. Jesus is their Lord and Savior. Divine health is there. They are protected, O oh Lord. All things are working together for their good. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name I pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Once again, congratulations and welcome to God's mighty family. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Right now, we'll give our offerings. If you're watching us from a center, you can give your offering in the center itself. If you're watching us online, the details are on the screen. You can speak to your parents and through bank transfer, you can give your offerings. Hallelujah. Right now, let's pray for the offering. Thank you, Father, for giving us the opportunity to bring our offerings. The offering is sanctified by your spirit. Thank you, Father, as we have given we receive a multiplied harvest in the name of Jesus. Money locates us. It comes to us. It is. It comes to us with free course. Thank you, Lord. We invoke your blessings upon them, and we see that it has been multiplied for the furtherance of the gospel. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I'm sure you all had a great time, and we learned so much today. And as I Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I'm sure you all had a great time. And as I told you today, don't keep quiet. Share the gospel with everyone around you. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Right now, let's thank God for his love, for his grace, for his mercy. So wherever you are, you can stand on your feet, lift up your hand, close your eyes and thank God. Thank you, Father, for your love, for your grace, for your goodness. Thank you, Father, for your word, for your Holy Spirit. We exalt and glorify your name, Father. I pray for each and everyone watching this program. I bless them with your word. They are blessed and are a blessing, O Lord. All things are working together for their good. They are sharing the gospel with boldness. They are divinely protected in their going and coming, O Lord. Nothing shall come against them, O Lord. They walk in health. There is peace, prosperity in their lives and their families, O Lord. They are champions. Your wisdom, the spirit of excellence is at work in them, O Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. You are preaching the gospel like never before. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Let's share the grace. The love of God, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit rest and abide with us now and forevermore. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow all the days of my life as I dwell in the house of God now and forevermore. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. So we'll see you next Sunday. Make sure you're joining us the coming Sunday. Till then, bye-bye and God bless you. Wow, I know you had so much of fun today. To enjoy, make sure you watch this with your friends again. Bye-bye. Subscribe to our channel, hit the bell icon, 
लाइक कमेंट एंड शेयर थैंक यू एंड गॉड ब्लेस यू